In this video, we are going to rock some multi-step evaluation problems. Let's jump right into them. So to evaluate the expression, each of these four expressions, for a equals two, b equals five, and c equals 10 is our goal. So let's roll into the first problem. Number one says three times a times b times c. So I look at that and I think, well, mentally at least, and I'm not gonna show you this thinking on every problem, I've got three empty places into which I am going to evaluate or plug in or test the numbers A, B, and C. So that's empty spot that we'll call A, empty spot B, and empty spot called C. So for A, we replace a two, for B, we replace a five, and for C, we replace a 10. It helps me to at least visualize this way, not necessarily write it out that way, so that I'm understanding that I'm not just replacing the variable, I'm putting a number in for the holding spot that we call A, B, and C. Now we multiply from left to right using order of operations. Three times two is six, and we've got that down, times five times 10. Six times five is 30, times 10 is 300 when you do it all out. And so that's our answer to number one. Number two, we've got the expression 2c minus 9. So I'm going to do 2 times 10. And again, 10 being put in for c minus 9. We do the order of operations now. 2 times 10 is 20. Minus 9 is what we have remaining. 20 minus 9, 11. Coincidentally, Mr. Grodens, or my favorite number, I don't know why I have to say that in the third person, it's my favorite number, 11. That's our answer. Beautiful prime number that it is. C minus B plus seven all over eight divided by A. Whoa, that's a lot. Take it one piece at a time, you can handle it. So C is equal to 10, so we're gonna replace C with 10. So I've got 10 minus B, B is equal to five, so we'll replace B with five plus seven, all divided by eight over, or eight divided by A, and A is two. So now handle the order of operations. We basically, with an evaluation problem, replace all our variables and then rock the order of operations as we know how so well. So now we'll do the numerator first, though we could do the denominator first as well. The numerator has subtraction then addition, so we work that left to right with the order of operations. 10 minus five is five, plus seven, all divided by, eight divided by two is four, and we can keep simplifying the numerator. Five plus seven is 12 over four, and this of course is the same as saying 12 divided by four. All right, so that's how I'm looking at it in my mental space, and that is equal to tray, or three as our answer. There you have it, break that mess down piece by piece. Here we go with one final problem, multiple steps. It's just one big mess made up of lots of simple parts. So we've got two times a times c minus the quantity b plus c, the quantity, right, because we're grouping all of it, plus c over 10. Well, two times a times c, that's gonna be two times a is gonna be two, times c is going to be a 10, minus the quantity of b plus c, or five plus 10. Five plus 10, ooh, and we're not done yet, plus let's evaluate for c, that's gonna be 10 over 10. There you have it. So now that we've got all our, of our evaluations done, it's a tongue twister for me, we're gonna simplify a bit more. Using the order of operations here, I'm gonna go left to right, and I notice that I have parentheses first. So I'm gonna have two times two times 10, minus five plus 10 is 15, plus 10 over 10, that's division. So now going left to right, we've got some multiplication followed by some division. I'm gonna do that work up here. So I've got, let's see, two times two is four, times 10 is 40, so I'm gonna get 40 from that whole first term minus 15, and I'm gonna condense down my order of operations a little bit here. 10 divided by 10 is one, division would come next. So as you get more and more comfortable with your order of operations, we can reduce down the number of steps we need to do, and uh, that'll actually become better for efficiency, or being a little quicker, down the road when you need to be. Now we'll do subtraction first, 40 minus 15 is 25, plus one, and that leaves us with 26, which is our final answer. There you have it folks, four, count them, one, two, three, four, evaluation problems with multiple steps. I love them, hope you at least tolerated them. 